question again. Where will you go when you die? Where would you go today if you died today? I feel like um, I wouldn't remember it and bacteria would just eat up my body, so, turn into maggots, and I would just be another piece of mold on a big sandwich that we call Okay. Her. So you won't have any consciousness, <laughs> right? It's like lights out when you're dead. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't, I'm not really um, religious. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a term for any sort of religion. Yeah, he might have broke his foot. Oh, oh man. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, he just did a 360. Just now? He just, he yeah, just, he yeah. just did oh, a 360 ouch. off of that. That um, heel's totally chipped, dude. I don't have a fully valid answer. What about you? What do you, what do you well, think? Well, I have Quick a belief. <laughs> I'm a Christian, right. I have a belief, but I, I want to share with you just some thoughts so you can think about this more succinctly. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. Is murder wrong? Is murder wrong? Yeah. Uh, depends on the scenario. No, I mean, like, just straight out murder. Just because somebody um, is getting like off on it. if I just shot him. For fun and because you wanted to take yeah. his wallet. Okay. Uh, yeah, is that that's wrong? wrong. Yeah. Hell yeah. Or is that just an opinion? Uh, it's an opinion. Definitely. Definitely. So there's no objective morality. Yeah. So anybody can do anything and it's not actually wrong. It's just that it's not liked by some yeah, people. Yeah, it's, it's self-will. So, so if somebody murdered your family, it's not wrong. Um, to me, it would be wrong, but maybe to the other person, it'd be right. Okay. It depends on the motive. And Adolf Hitler didn't really do anything wrong. Um... He didn't personally kill all the people. Well, he, he, made it, <laughs> he, made it, he made it happen. You know that. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so, so Adolf Hitler didn't do anything actually wrong. Um, in some senses, no. Do you realize why you're, trying to, why you're giving me that answer? Um, I haven't given it enough thought. But. It, no, it's because, <laughs> because, actually, because your brain calculated very fast what was happening. Let me explain yeah. to you. If you acknowledge that there is something actually wrong, like murder is wrong, you're acknowledging God. Let me explain why. Your brain already calculated it. Yeah. Because if there was no God, then any opinion on right and wrong is just somebody's personal opinion. Yeah. It's not actually right or wrong. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And your brain immediately figured out that if you said it was actually wrong, you'd have to acknowledge God exists. And why, so. why do you think your soul did not want to acknowledge the existence of God? I feel I like see. I'm just, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's because, is it possibly because if you acknowledge that God existed, something would have to change in your life? So. Uh, yeah, I would have yeah. to quit doing a lot of things I do. Oh, I'm a bad person. Do you um, realize? Do you realize how self-deceptive that is, right? Yeah. Because you knew right away if you said, "Yeah, there is some, such a thing as right and wrong," you're gonna have to give us some things you know are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like consuming the okay. amount of alcohol I had last night. Right. That right. was an ungodly God amount of alcohol last God night. God condemns drunkenness. Now, you see that building behind you? What building is that? The Staples Center. Okay, let me ask you. If I told you the Staples Center built itself from nothing, would you believe me? Um, built itself out of nothing. Yeah. Uh, That's crazy, right? Yeah. You wouldn't believe me, right? On the ground up. <laughs> What's more complex, the Staples Center or the entire universe? The entire universe. So if it's you endless. can't believe the, the Staples Center built itself from nothing, how much more impossible would it, to think, would it be to think that the universe could build itself from nothing? Um, Remember, the Staples Center is inside the universe. See, my thoughts on what everyone calls God is more of like a higher power energy. And the other argument I have is... I feel like it's endless. Well, God it's, is endless. He's infinite. Yeah, pretty much. But I also don't have the same perception on who God is, sure. what he looks like, what he might what he wants. be. Well, yes, what he wants. But you and knew that he was against some of the things that you would Yeah. <laughs> some of the things in this world are unexplainable. Right. <laughs> Definitely so, unexplainable. Here's more simple ways, even more simple ways to think about it. Have you ever seen a p painting that didn't have a painter? Uh, no. And if somebody told you this painting had no painter, you wouldn't believe him, right? Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever seen a building that didn't have a builder? What? No. A building without a builder. Without a builder. Well, they're everywhere, but there has to be a builder to make it. Agree. And how did you know? Because... Just by looking at it, right? Yeah. You could tell when something yeah, is designed, I mean, uh, right? A person made the ground right in front of us. How about your DNA, which has so much information, you couldn't fit it into like 100 dictionaries? Did that happen by itself? Could, Sorry? Could 
the, the information in your DNA happen without a mind? No. <laughs> Do you realize what we're, what we're really fast concluding, right? Yeah. Okay, now check this out. Let, let's move you another step, okay? Okay. Tell me what this verse might be talking about in your mind, okay? They pierced my hands and my feet. Uh, sounds like Jesus on the cross. <laughs> let me tell you, you're right, but let me tell you something special about that verse. That's Psalm 2216 written 1,000 years before Jesus came to the earth, and written 600 years before anyone invented crucifixion. How did that happen? Um, I, <laughs> I don't really believe that the Bible well, Wait is... a minute, hold on, to answer that question. How did, the, how did the Bible predict such a thing as crucifixion? I feel like it's edited. Well, actually, there's something called the Dead Sea Scrolls, which carbon dates back to around 2300 before Christ. 2300 BC. It contains um, prophecies about Jesus. For instance, what's this verse talking about? Behold, the Lord will show you a sign, okay? The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. The virgin gives birth to God. What's that talking about? Jesus, right? Yeah. 700 years before Jesus. Carbon date back to 2300 before Jesus, okay? How did that happen? Yeah, I, no <laughs> I wasn't there. That's because... <laughs> God made it possible for us to know who the true God is. Okay. He's the God of the, the Bible. He's so not, I take it you're religious. I believe, in, I, I believe in Jesus. I believe where the evidence points um, incontrovertibly. There's no way to deny Okay, me. where do you think you're going to go after you pass away? Okay, let, let me tell you very, very succinctly, but let me explain the answer before I answer. The answer is not pride. The answer is grace. The answer is I'm going to go to heaven, straight to heaven, not because I'm a good person, but because God gave me a free gift of that all I have to do is to receive. And that's what I'm trying to share with you. Okay. You don't have to be a good person to, to go to heaven because there's no such thing as a good person. Yeah. Right? The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There is no one righteous, not even one. The only people who go to heaven are not good people. They don't exist. Yeah. The only people who go to heaven are forgiven people who ask for forgiveness. It's a free gift. See, Jesus died because he wanted to be punished in your place. He wanted to be punished for you in your place. The way to receive what Jesus did is to believe, to turn from your sins and believe in Jesus. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Um, it's not really something I follow. Yeah, um, well, the, only ma the only thing that matters is what's true. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? Because I mean, that's with everything. Right. Uh, if it's not true, throw it out. If it's yeah. true, wrestle with it until you come to terms with it. So this movie here. That helps. Yeah. This movie you... is this um, based off religion? Is it... It's based on, yes, absolutely. Here, take that too. Because that'll, that'll give you a little more. And there are websites on there. Doesgodexist.guru is a list is a uh, website listed on there. Check that out, okay? Okay. And in that website, there are more videos that'll help you. What's your views on other religion? Well, let's let me say, ask you. I'll, let's I'll, say Buddhist. I'm going to help you, okay? I'll okay. Make it real simple for you. If you find out for certain that one plus one is two, mm -hmm. do you have to check to see if it was also equal to three, four, five, and six? No, no, right? When you know that one plus one equals two and only two, you don't have to check all the other answers in the world. Very Once much. I find out that Christianity is absolutely true, I know all the other ones are false. Because Jesus said in John 14, six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Acts 4.12 says this, there is no other name under heaven by which men must be saved, referring to Jesus. So can the na name of Buddha save? No. Only the name of Jesus. Do you know why? Because God is God of justice as well as mercy. In order for him to have justice, he has to punish sin. Buddhism, Islam, they offers no way for your sins to be paid for. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Jesus, who is God, loved you so much. What if, what if I don't believe in anything? And where do I end up? Then you end up um, in hell. Let me explain first. You end up having to pay for the for the sins that you've committed. Okay? And How which, do I pay which is for hell. Them? Yeah, because that's hell. Because at that time there is no way there is no way for you to pay for your sins. In fact, even now there's no way for you to pay for your sins. The only way is for Jesus to pay for your sins. He's the He's the God that took on human nature, lived the perfect life and was punished in your behalf. What's a perfect life? He never sinned. He not, never not sinned? Not only did he never sin, he did amazing deeds of good that he applies to your account. Have you ever been to the Vatican? 
I have, twice. Yeah, me too. Cool. Um, that place scares the hell out of me. It scares me too. It, it looks it, demonic to me. Yeah, the, all the popes are in there. Yeah, all stuff. their heads. Are, yeah, it's scary. Um, and they don't tr they don't teach the gospel. Yeah, that place uh, really changed my perception. Yeah, um, I'm not Catholic. I'm a Christian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that place tripped me out. Um, you been to Rome? I've been to Rome several times. Yeah, just, Rome was probably my favorite. I just got back from uh, my honeymoon in Rome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I haven't taken enough time to focus on what I really believe in. What I really like just say now is like, I believe in self-will. If you want something, you're going to get it. If you need something, you're going to achieve it. If you want to. Everything's, yeah. everything's a want. Well, do you, do you want to know the truth? Um, I don't want to live in fear. No. Fear is for the weak. When you truly trust exactly. Jesus, I don't. Let me, I don't want to. I don't want to live in I, fear. I do not fear death at all. Okay. I have literally gotten on stage in a Muslim event and preached Jesus. You know how I can do that? Because I know where I'm going after I die. Yeah. You want to get rid of fear? Read that right there. Read that. Okay. Okay. Focus on it. Concentrate on what it's actually saying. Look All up, right. look up the, the references. Okay? Make sure I'm not lying to you. Okay. So what's your name? Jason. Jason. Jason Martinez. Jason Martinez. Are, I you, are live... you ready to follow Jesus or not quite yet? Uh, it's gonna take some thought. No worries. There's no pressure. Okay? <laughs> no rush. <laughs> so my contact information. My name is Tony. My contact information is on there. Okay. Welcome on this at yahoo.com. Okay. Sweet. Thank you so much for talking to me. Yes. God no bless problem. you. I enjoyed it. Take my hand, man. God bless you. <laughs>